Hi guys, welcome back to the Blu-ray Ben channel. And today we're going to be taking a closer look at the masterpiece, which is Seven Samurai, directed by Akira Kurosawa. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly, as the name is Japanese. And yeah, it's an edition I recently picked up, and uh, I thought it was just such a good, nice edition, I wanted to share it with you guys. So obviously, if you have any questions, uh, ask them down below, I will answer them. And of course, give this video a like, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video. As always, I will be putting all of the information, at least the important information, down in the description box. But if you have any uh, sort of more doubts or questions, don't hesitate to ask. So yeah, we're going to take a look at the front cover. You obviously see here it says uh, Kiri Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. And then it's got a quote from uh, the British uh, newspaper Telegraph, which is simply one of the greatest films ever. And it's got like a really nice uh, picture of uh, the crazy samurai here on the front. And you can hear, you can see here it says BFI, which is actually the British Film Institute, which do, you know do a lot to help our British uh, cinema in the uh, United Kingdom, and they do come out with some really nice releases. And of course, you can see this is a, a clear or transparent Blu-ray case, which I really like. I think it gives us a really nice touch, and obviously it enables you to see some inside artwork, which we will get to in a minute. So on the back, you can see obviously there's a synopsis of the film. And uh, here you actually have the translation, I don't know if you can make it out there, in Japanese, which I'm not going to uh, pronounce because I don't want to but that's the, obviously the, the real name of the film before it was translated into English. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a close-up here of the special features, if I can get my camera to focus. There you go. So yeah, digitally remastered in high definition. You can play it with or without the original intermission. Original Japanese theatrical trailer, the art of Akira Kurosawa, uh, sort of a documentary or featurette, which is 49 minutes long and it's, uh, really, really interesting. I had a re great time watching that, and it's got uh, the Asian cinema expert Tony Raines discussing uh, obviously his career and the influence he had on cinema. And then, as I'm going to show you now, a fully illustrated booklet with essays by Philip Kemp and full film credits. So, yeah. Some really nice extras in this edition, and obviously the upgrade to uh, HD is really nice. I have to admit, I haven't see, I didn't see the film in its original format, but I did enjoy it, and it's obviously upgraded format. And what I'm going to show you also down here, just for those that are really interested in it, it does say here at the bottom uh, that the original aspect ratio is 1.33 to 1, 1080p, 24 frames per second. And uh, it's PCM mono audio, 48K, 24-bit. So yeah, it's just for the people who are interested in that. So it's going to open this up and we'll have a look inside. So we can see, obviously, the disc in the booklet. So first of all, we're going to look at the booklet. So yeah, once again, we've got a repeated image from, uh, you know, the front cover of the, uh, the Blu-ray uh, case. And on the back, it just has uh, some a sort of quote that uh, the British Film Institute have put there. Okay, so yeah, what we have, we sort of have some uh, images throughout the booklet, but what's uh, more interesting is the, the things that are actually in it. First of all, they talk about the film and uh, uh, things like that, which is really interesting. Let's actually read this all the way through. And then we have a review from uh, Gavin Lambert, which is also really interesting, uh, his point of view. And then we have like a biography of uh, Akira Kurosawa, the director. By Philip Kemp, which is really interesting. I found out a lot about him. And then there's also another biography of Tosh uh, Toshiro Mifun or Mifune. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but that's a. So you can see here, one of the samurai, one of the probably most famous actors in the film. And it's really interesting too. And then it continues, and it just sort of has some more images and uh, things like that. And it's also got some information here, which I haven't actually read, which is about the transfer. So I will give that a read. So yeah, a really nice booklet that comes with it. It's always nice to have some additional information. So happy with that. And then if we just take the disc out here, some really nice artwork on the disc. It's always good to have artwork on the disc, especially different art, artwork that's not repeated. And it's sort of a really nice. As you can see here, it is Region B. All the information is down below, but you can see it's Region B locked, obviously coming from the British Film Institute. So if you do want it in America or other countries which are region A or C, you will need a you know a region free player. So yeah, and then on the inside it has got inside artwork, but it's not related to you know the film. It's actually showing other 
releases that the British Film Institute have done and uh, if anyone's interested in that you can sort of pause that and have a look at the different editions. This is my first edition from the BFI but I'm really happy with it. So I'm going to put the disc back in and the booklet. Oh yeah, so there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Just a bit of a closer look at a really nice edition that I've added to my collection and a film that I thoroughly enjoyed. And uh, yeah, if you don't mind, uh, obviously reading uh, English subtitles is definitely a film that I would recommend and one of the best foreign films ever made, uh, in my opinion. So yeah, all the information is down below, as I've said. And uh, give this video a like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot, guys.